Oh, okay, so hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so uh, like uh, I've been making the videos after a very long time. Uh, like yeah. So today we'll be discussing uh, the problem delete greatest value in each row. Like in this uh, video, we'll be discussing this problem. And this problem is uh, the part of the uh, lead code weekly contest three two three. Like delete greatest value in each row. We'll be discussing. Each problem longest square streak in array design memory allocator maximum number of points from grid queries in each of the separate video and this playlist. So if you are just uh, trying to find out the solution for each of the problem, you can check the entire playlist. The playlist link will be given in the description section of the video. Okay, so let's move out to this uh, problem. Delete greatest value in each row. Okay. So uh, uh, I will explain you the problem through the examples and all like uh, how we are just performing the calculations, what the problem is actually uh, telling us about and what will be the our answers. Okay. So uh, as the name suggests, we have to delete. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me just delete greatest row in each like delete greatest value in each row. Delete greatest value in each row. Uh, okay, uh, wait a minute. Let me just check out my setup. There is some problem. Uh, I think. Okay, now it's okay in each row okay so in this problem you are uh, you have been given a matrix of size m into n so there is a matrix and you have been uh, given m rows and n columns so there are m rows and there are n columns okay so uh, what you have to uh, do in this problem is like each time like each operation uh, let us define the operation uh, something like this let me change the color also like each operation, each operation defined in such a way that you have to pick up the maximum element in each row. Pick max element in each row. Okay. And after picking the maximum element in each row, let's say the elements are something like this M1, M2, M3, and it goes up to something like M. M. Uh, let us uh, choose some different value that would be uh, let's say we are having x1 x2 and it goes on up to xm where there are m uh, rows okay so when we pick maximum element in each row uh, the elements are something like x1 x2 x2 and it goes on up to something xm okay then our answer for this operation would be max element let's say this uh, uh, this function this array is called as fx then we will just add up our answer with answer equal to answer plus maximum element of this fx. Okay, so this is our answer. And we have to do this operation till uh, we are almost done with the entire grid. Okay, uh, like after uh, having this operation, you can see, uh, let me change the color again. Okay, let's say we are having this one. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's say we are done with this operation. Then we are going to delete uh, the elements which we are having, which we are choosing over here. We are picking the max element in each row. Okay, so let's uh, take out the example and understand how this will work. One, two, four, three, three, one. Okay, so we have the grid elements as one, two, four, three, three, one. Okay, so uh, uh, according to our operation, so what we have to do is we have to pick up the max element. Okay, so this is one. I, uh, 3 and 3 you can choose any of them it doesn't matter okay so 3 4 and 3 yeah okay so when we choose 4 and 3 so uh, let's have this fx array as you know 4 and 3 okay and our answer will be incremented by answer equal to answer plus maximum element of this fx is 4 so answer becomes 4 if our answer is initialized with 0 okay so when we are done with this one we have to delete the elements 4 and 3 that is whatever the elements that are present in the fx we have to delete it so this will be deleted this will be deleted okay 
so uh, our new array would be something like sorry new grid would be something like this one two three one okay so now again we have to choose the maximum elements okay so we will choose this two we'll choose this two, three so our fx will be two and three okay and our answer will be incremented by answer equal to answer plus three okay uh, our answer will be incremented by maximum element of this fx so uh, our answer would become seven finally so this will be deleted so our new add will be one and one sorry new grid will be one and one then we will pick up the max again we'll pick up the maximum element from each row so fx will be again one and one okay then our answer will be again incremented by one so it becomes eight and uh, like this is chosen this is chosen we are done with this entire grid and this is actually deleted so the grid becomes empty okay so this is the sequence of operations now you guys must be wondering how this will be performed how we get the answer efficiently if we are just uh, doing the deletion each time entire time we are having the entire grid uh, like new grid so for that it takes a uh, you know lot of time for that case we can just uh, opt, uh, like think about that how this will be done efficiently okay so let's check it out the approach okay so suppose we have the grid elements like a11 a12 a13 a14 similarly a21 a22 a23 a24 and a again 31 a32 a33 a34 suppose we have this grid of size 3 into 4 okay now each time what is our task each time we have to pick up the max element okay and uh, again uh, after picking up the max element uh, like from each row then we are again picking up the maximum element from the new array that we have suppose the maximum elements are a14 a23 and a34 okay then our uh, fx array would be something like this a14 a23 and a34 then we are choosing the maximum element among these and which is added to our answer right so uh, like for each time uh, after choosing this one we are just deleting it okay so you can just move all these maximum elements to the first column right and this can be done efficiently by uh, just uh, sorting sorting each row in uh, non increasing order if we'll sort each row in non increasing order then what will happen is you can see this uh, this is sorted like this is sorted in non increasing order so our new uh, matrix would be something like this if we follow uh, this one let's write down the new matrix it would be something like this a14 and we don't know the order of elements right over here we don't know we are unaware about that let's say we are now to skipping this part we don't know what whatever the elements over here are so we have a23 and we have a34 I am writing these elements because in the first operation I have assumed that a14 is the maximum element in the first row, a23 is the maximum element in the second row, similarly a34 is the maximum element in the third row. Okay, so when we sort each row in non-increasing order, we have the elements uh, for the first column as over here a14, a23 and a34. Okay, so we don't know the order of these elements. Okay, so what is my answer? So uh, my answer is nothing but maximum element of like for the first operation my answer is maximum element among over here okay answer plus equal to max of the first column let me write down max of one it will denote the maximum among the first column okay so what is my uh, uh, like if you do the second operation what is our answer our answer is nothing but maximum among the second column if we sort the each row in non increasing order okay so uh, let's say uh, our uh, the like when we are done with this one a14 a23 and 34 we will delete this one okay let's say uh, uh, in we are doing the second operation and these are the maximum elements okay a12 a21 and a32 okay so in the here a12 will come and a21 will come and similarly a32 will come because we are sorting the elements for each row in non increasing order okay so we have the element something like this okay now again our answer is what our answer is the maximum among a12 a21 and a32 so uh, this these all elements will lie in the second column a12 a21 and 32 so again our answer will be incremented by max of 
2 2 denotes the second column so what is our main approach first sort each row in non increasing order then iterate for each column and find the maximum element among each column and just add it to your answer this is the approach that uh, you need to uh, worry about like you need to take care for that okay so let's move on to the coding section how this will be uh, done efficiently okay uh, yeah so what you have to do is like uh, first you have to okay so let me just zoom in the screen so what i've done is like first i've sorted each uh, row in non increasing order okay so let me write down sort each row in non increasing order okay now uh, our answer is uh, like initialized with zero and we will just iterate for in each column okay so let me write down iterate in each column and find the max element <laughs> okay now this is this part this inner for loop is for finding the maximum element and we're just uh, adding it to your answer okay so let's talk about the time complexity of the solution time complexity uh, you can see for each row we are just sorting the uh, like we're sorting the entire row which consists of m elements sorry which consists of n elements if there are n number of columns so our time complexity will be o of big o of you can see uh, for sorting the m uh, sorting the n columns we have n log n so o of m into n into log n okay this is the uh, time complexity entire time complexity okay and we have space complexity as uh, space complexity okay so let me use uh, this uh, symbol and our case space complexity is open we are not using any extra space okay like grid is already given so uh, this is uh, the time and space complexity so let's submit this code and check it out if it works fine yeah it is accepted so if you guys have any doubts uh, you can just uh, tell me in the comment section of the video and like uh, please don't forget to like this video share this video as well as subscribe my channel to have for the like to get updates for the latest videos that i am going to upload it okay so thank you for watching this video